Okay guys, <clears throat> I am here today. I'm doing a box packing video um, for Little Miss Realborn, Kimberly here. Oh, sorry guys. Um, making sure that you guys can still see everything. So um, yeah, I'm just packing her and she's going home uh, as soon as her mommy's payment is made. Um, she sold for $2.65. So, quit, MJ. I don't want my dog off the screen right now. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm going to actually pull you guys up just a tad bit higher if I can. Just because I want you guys to be able to see. Give me just a second. Alright, I think I've got this propped up to where... I won't have to uh, really worry about it. Sorry, it's still shaking. Um, it's a weird prop. Anyways, I'm gonna try and make this as quick as, po as, quick as possible. Um, so I'm sending Realborn Kimberly home today. Uh, she has a bald baby, as you can see. I've got her in this cute little outfit, little pink tutu and polka dot and purples. Uh, I had to modify her tutu a little bit to fit her. Um, <clears throat> she's going home with a few outfits, uh, I have those right here, okay, sorry, um, so she's, I'm sending her home with this hat, uh, a bib, she's got little cupcakes on it, um, a little yellow onesie, I'm sending her home with all springtime color things, a onesie that says I love you or love you. Um, these pants, which I thought were adorable, which they kind of are, so, got little buttons at the bottom of them, this green flowered onesie, it's got little purple in the middle of the flowers, this cute little dress, in case her new mommy goes to church or wants her to wear a cute little Easter dress, got her that, um, so I'm trying to fold this back up. Okay. And then I got her this cute little sleeper that she can sleep in because every baby needs a sleeper. It's got little rainbow zebra print all over it. Okay. And then the last outfit. I'm actually going to just move a couple of these real quick. Sorry guys. All right, and then the last outfit, which I was debating to send her home in this one or this one, um, but I chose this one. So it's this onesie. It's like a little rainbow onesie with um, these pants, with little blue or blue pants with little white hearts on it, and it's got a little monkey on the back with the butt. So um, yeah, I was conflicted on what to send her home in, but I finally f picked it out and just went with my, what I thought was cutest. Um, sending her home with this headband, little tannish white, off color white headband, and then this little yellow one, which I had to modify because it was too big for her head. But we figured it out. And then she's going home with two magnetic pacifiers, which she looks absolutely adorable in, by the way. Um, yeah, so personally, this is not one of my favorite kits. I do not think she's very cute at all, but, you know, to each his own. And uh, if her new mommy adores her, I am so happy. It's all that matters. So, um... Yeah, and I've already got her little box over here prepped. It's got pink tissue paper in it, and in the bottom, it's got a little Easter grass. It's green. There's a little bit of pink in there, too, but I decided to mix it up a little. It's actually very pretty and colorful, and also gives the baby a little bit more cushion at the bottom. And then she's also going home with a massive amount of diapers, just because her mommy 
Uh, it's her. It's gonna be her first box opening video, and I just want it to be special. It'll also be my first box opening video because I'm having someone do it for me, and I'm excited that she's actually going to. Uh, I'm gonna send this home with her. It's a little toy because she's got cute little fingers. To make it look like she's actually holding the toy. Um, and then this little Easter bunny. Because it's almost Easter and it's spring and it's pink. And I thought it was cute. So she's going home with that too. Now to the fun part. <clears throat> to get her all wrapped up. So I've got a diaper here for her head. And I've got her lace to tie her up after I wrap her. And her cute little blanket. This is difficult while holding a baby, I'll just say that. <laughs> okay. Lay that down like that. Okay. Lay her in the middle. Sit her all pretty. I wish her arms didn't do that weird thing, I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're full limbs. Diaper over her head. And she's also going to be wrapped in bubble wrap, so she'll be extra protected. I just wanted to give her head just a little more protection. And so the agony of seeing her when her mommy opens her. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see here. I'm just going to take this. I don't know if you guys can see all of this, but I'm hoping. Okay. Try to get our feet together if possible. There we go. Okay. Come over her feet like that. Wrap her arms up in the front of her chest. So there's that, she's wrapped. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll actually move you guys right over here to where we can see everything that I'm doing. Almost. Okay. I'm gonna take the strings that I've made, or cut. I'm gonna wrap or tie up her blanket so it doesn't come off. Actually, not very tight. Okay, so there's one. And then this one's gonna go over the widest part of her, which will be around her arms. Okay, and then the smaller one will go around her feet. There's her little feet wrapped up. It's perfect around her feet. So her mommy will know which way to open her. So now that she's all wrapped up in her blanket, let me grab this bubble wrap. Get the stickers off of them. You would think they'd make it easier to get off. Guess not. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take the baby and just gonna roll out some of this. Lay your head right there. Actually. Nice 
that, I'm going to get some tape. Okay. Sorry guys, i got to find a place to start on it because I have... Oh, there it is. Then I'm just going to tape down her. Actually, this isn't very tight, so I'm actually going to wrap it a little tighter if I can. here on the face since I uh, purposely put all this extra bubble wrap I'm actually going to um, take it down pretty for her mommy. Um, okay, so I'm just going to set her aside. Okay. Set her up here. Now, this, minute, this video is already really long. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> gonna wrap her headbands and her pacifiers in these little smaller pieces of tissue paper and reason is it's because I bought these two eggs or it was a pack of three but they came with a blue one too but they're these little Easter eggs that come open and I'm gonna put them inside of this so pacifiers that a little bit better.
there's our pacifiers that are wrapped. I'm going to put them in an egg. And then just close up the egg. Okay. And take the egg shut. On both sides. So there's her little egg with pacifiers in it. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with her headbands, except I'm going to kind of make her headbands look just like little bitty flowers. Kind of like so. And then wrap them that way. There's that egg. Tape it shut. Okay, so there's that packed on sewn. And now for her outfits, which she's going to have quite a few. So. Usually I wrap these in ribbon, but I'm out of ribbon right now, so tape it is. Not that her mom's going to care, I mean, you know, it's going to be ripped anyways. I watched uh, videos on Nikki Holland. Um, I watched her box packing videos, and that's where I really got my inspiration to do mine. Uh, I just loved how she did hers. It's hard to be different with box packing, just because, you know, there's not... Due to the season, I was able to be a little bit more creative with how I packed the baby's box. But, you know, usually it's a little, tad, it's a tad difficult, so.
her bib and her hat are gonna go in one. I don't know why this bib does this, it's brand new. Oh well. bit easier for me. It's probably the prettiest one I wrapped. Now that all of her clothes are packed, there's five little parcels there. I'm gonna go ahead and actually start packing her box. I don't know if you guys can really see inside of the box, but uh, I don't really have much good, I don't have really good view, so. The <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is take this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diapers, put one at the head of the box, And at the foot of the box, where her head and feet are going to be, just for a little bit more extra protection. And then I'm going to line where she's laying down, and then two in the other corners. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can. And then I just put one over here in this corner. So, okay. I'm trying to give you guys the best view I possibly can. You know, without making my phone prop fall. There we go. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to take her. And I'm just going to lay her. Oh, like so. Okay, so there she is. And now I'm just gonna pack everything else that I have for her around her. So, toys, all that good stuff. I'm gonna put her little Easter bunny right here. And her Easter egg is one on each side of the bunny. Her little toy. Well, actually, I'll put that on last because it's, it's going to be hard and I don't want to do that. Okay, so there's everything in her box. Now that you guys can see. Okay, and then of course her paperwork's gonna go in there, which I have. Um, right here, which I need to sit and fill out. So I'm going to do that right quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got all of her paperwork filled out. Uh, she's got her real worn certificate of authenticity and it's got the picture of the real baby on it and I've already filled it out for her. She has a birth certificate, which is already filled out. Her mommy named her Sadie Rose. Uh, she was born on March 18th, 2017 to her mommy and then her, her weight is four pounds, eight ounces and she's 20 inches long. And then I also put in some care instructions. Uh, you know, typical uh, don't get me wet, 
and put powder on my diaper, you know, wash my clothes in regular detergent. I'm not allergic and love me unconditionally. And I also put a thank you note on the back for her mommy when she receives her. So now I'm just going to throw this in an envelope. By the way, guys, you can buy these at the Dollar Tree at eight pack for a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree for little things like this. Okay. Um, I need to fold her um, papers. Sorry if you guys can hear my TV in there. It's fairly loud, actually. But, you know. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stick all of this down into this envelope. Her birth certificate. Or her certificate of authenticity, then her birth certificate. And then her thank you note and care instructions. And then I'm just going to take the little prongs here. This is open me. All right. And then I'm just going to stick this probably right on top of her box. Actually. Okay. I wrote, I'm finally home, Mommy just makes mommy more excited to even get into her box and start digging. And then I have, to finish this off, uh, some more Easter grass. It's pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle this right over the top of her, uh, all of her stuff. And this is just for presentation, just to make her mommy's box a little prettier. I'm gonna pick you guys up now. So this is her box, and what then basically all I'm gonna do is take all these and fold them in. I'm not gonna tape anything else except the box. Okay. So now I know that she's nice and protected because she's in bubble wrap because there is just a bit of room at the top of her box. So. I'm going to just uh, close up her mommy's box for her, and then I'm going to be taping it up, and I will be shipping her out as soon as mommy's payment is received. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video now that it's almost 30 minutes long. Uh, so I'm going to get off here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please um, share this video. Uh, I'm really looking for people to buy boxes, or not boxes, but babies from me. Um... And this just gives you a very good idea of what is going to be coming in my boxes. So, um, yeah, guys, so just uh, go like my page on Facebook. It's under Ariana's Little Blessings Nursery. Um, I post my baby's work there and uh, babies for sale. Owen, Realborn Owen, is on sale. He's on eBay. Uh, I put him up for $3.50. Buy it now, which is a good price compared to what I've paid for him. Um, so yeah, that's all the announcements that I have guys. So, uh, just, uh, share this video for me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.